What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on either 07 or 08 Hyundai Santa Fe and right here I'm not going to read that but it says 2.7 but this is the V6 and what we're going to be doing is doing a perch valve on it. Uh, the perch valve actually lives behind the throttle body right here and may even have to take the throttle body off to actually gain access to it which won't be too bad uh I'll probably just do it just to give me a little bit more room but we do have the new one over here right now import direct uh 42-00436 uh, excuse me just ate breakfast and it's first thing in the morning And this one comes with the rubber piece, the actual valve, and even the hose. So I like getting the ones with the hose just in case the hose is right. And I think it's like another, I forgot how much, it's like another $5 or $3 or something like that. I mean, I know you can probably get a piece of hose cheaper, but it just comes with it. And the, got the used car lot. He's the one who ordered this. So we're going to go with that. So first thing. I'm just going to set this up here. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead. Bang. Ow. I hate these safety clips. So right now the hurricane is headed our way. Or the remnants of it. We're supposed to be getting a lot of rain from it. They're calling for like... 10 inches of rain here which is a decent amount popping clips or popping all the little tabs on it uh, let me grab a, another tool real quick this right here and kind of pop that up get it off all right now we have hose here I, don't know if I, no, I can't squeeze it and then we'll have a 10 millimeter right down in there we'll have to take that off because that will lift up and we should be able to wheel it don't even look like it was on there at all I haven't done anything to this car either so uh, I kind of made things a little different so we will actually probably I might get a different clamp uh, I know it ain't gonna be the same one but I'm gonna get a different hose clamp and put on here probably get one of these big ones kind of like this and see if that'll fit around it at least because that one looks like it's like stretched all the way out so, let me get a pair of pliers take this off and then once I do that, I'll kind of show you behind there because it'll give us a lot more room to look. Actually, the purge valve lives right there. You can actually get to it once you pull the air box off. And then it's got like a little regular little uh, connector on there. Then it's got a little hose clamp right there. When to squeeze one, then there's one more squeeze one on the top. I don't know if y'all can see it because the throttle body's blocking it. but. Just gonna take it off on the bottom and then we will take it off on the top. And I think the top one is the one that you're gonna replace. I think it runs, let me check. Yeah, it runs straight up to the back of the intake or right where the intake and throttle body meet actually. And to be honest, yeah, you can tell the things connector isn't even really tight on it and stuff like that so we're gonna pull it off and it's just a little slide piece if I can get it to come off camera she's being being a pain so let me go ahead and disconnect these two hose clamps right here and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull it off and I'll show you how it comes off. So we got it out and 
here is the line that was attached on the bottom. Here is the old one right there. I know it don't look bad, but this is the new one compared to it. And you're just going to put the little rubber piece around it. I know it's a little blurry, but just put the little rubber piece around it. And then you attach the hose on the back right here. And it should be about the same length. Yeah, looks correct. Now to pull this off the little bracket, you actually pull up. And I don't know if I can show you the bracket. Hold on, let me see. You look right past the connector right behind it, that little, it's like a little U bracket. And that's where it comes off of. Put this on here. I can go one handed. Try to do all this one handed so we can film it all. There's that one. Now I'm just going to put it back in. The way I determined that this wasn't doing right was it wasn't holding vacuum. I had a vacuum gauge attached it and it would not hold vacuum. It would click off and on, but just wouldn't do anything else. And the reason we looked into this, trying to do it one handed again was because there's a P0441 code. So. Get the connector on. We're hooking up the bottom line. And now I'm just going to connect all the hose clamps. So we got her buttoned up now, put her all back together, and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna do a like an EVAP leakage purge test. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna need your scanner. We got the Autel Ultra right here. I don't have it connected just yet, but I'm gonna connect it up, we're gonna get her started, and then I'll come back and I'll kind of show you how we do all this. So the purge valve is on. And it's working like it's supposed to. I checked it with my scanner. It's closing and opening. You can hear it clicking. Uh, check engine light is off. I did have it running for a while and even test drove it a little bit. No issues on that. Um, yeah, I want to take the throttle body off to get a little bit more access and room to do it. You can more than welcome to. Just do however you're comfortable with. Uh, I can get to it without pulling the throttle body off because that is a little bit extra work for me to do and I, I can get around it if I needed to. But if you're more comfortable taking it off where you can see everything, by all means, go ahead and do that. But this is pretty much putting one of them on. Uh, within an hour, you can have it on. It's not a huge job. But if y'all do have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. I get to them as soon as possible. Uh, if y'all know a faster way of doing it, let me know too. I may help somebody else out in the future. And if y'all got any questions or anything about any car, not just pertaining to these, but any car in general, hit me up on Instagram. I do have the Instagram, the Patreon, all that stuff. Just hit me up on those, and I'll answer any questions y'all got and try to give you the most knowledge I can about the car. But until next time, y'all remember, torque this tight, and y'all have a great day.